During lockdown every week, commuters have been sharing with us their journeys into work. Transport is gradually getting busier, and today face coverings became compulsory. The journey was really busy. Um, I think the busiest um, that I've been on since the lockdown. Uh, the good thing is a lot of people were wearing um, a facial covering. I just hope that in a couple of weeks we don't go back to where we were before and people were refusing to wear masks or were forgetting to put them on. We have to beat this virus and wearing the masks is the only way to do it. Usually we would see lots of people here Harrison Carter is a doctor. Today, he used the Jubilee line. So overall, a really positive journey. I felt safe. I felt that people were listening to the instructions, which as a doctor working in an emergency department, I know how incredibly important that is. At West Ham, those not wearing masks were given one by transport police before being allowed on. Some operators were also giving them out at stations. This was King's Cross. At Waterloo, nearly all commuters were wearing face coverings. The 750 from Surrey was quiet. For those avoiding public transport, the roads in central London are though getting busier. When you hit central London, the traffic is quite bad, but I still would prefer to drive in even despite that, rather than go on public transport at the moment. Not everyone on public transport was wearing a mask and there are legitimate exemptions, like those with breathing difficulties or young children. TfL said about 90% of travellers were wearing face coverings and it expects that to increase. I'm very confident, given the massive profile that this awful pandemic has had, that people will comply and within a few days I think it'll be very much just a handful of people uh, who's, who are saying they don't want to wear a mask. TfL said the transport system was slightly busier than last week. For commuters from today, this is the new normal. Tom Edwards, BBC London.